Patrick, thank you. Tree damage, power lines down, tents torn, equipment ruined. It was not a pretty sight in Kirbyville for organizers and the vendors at the Magnolia Festival. You can see what they found at the fairgrounds this morning. They've since cleaned up and they're ready for folks to come out tonight and tomorrow. 12 News reporter Amelia White got the rain gear out. She's there in Kirbyville with a look at what's happening. Amelia. Jordan, what a resilient community. The Magnolia Festival is still on after being hit by last night's storm. Organizers tells me it takes a village to pull off something like this. Take a look at the photos on your screen. Tents blown over, wind and water damage all caused by last night's storm. I spoke with organizers a few minutes ago who say they were determined to clean up the mess last night's storm created. Within five hours, tents were back in its proper spots and power was restored. And the festival started on time. Director of the Magnolia Festival, Wanda Frank, says it's been a tough year for a lot of people. So an event like this is much needed. With the COVID and so much, we just want everybody to get out and get in a family organization and enjoy themselves. Organizers are encouraging folks, if you are not out here just yet, you still have time to enjoy the fun and some good food. Now social, distancing, now, social distancing is something that I am seeing. Not a huge crowd flow out here. Vendors are spaced out, food stands, and people. Coming up at 10, I'm going to check in with our local vendors out here to see how business is going for them at the festival. I'm live in Kirbyville, Amelia White, 12 News.